Uh, let's make sure you know. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Dash. Double honors to the elder possible GMS who doing well. Salute your brother pushing his word. And to sincere stretch by Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah. Shalom to you, brothers and sisters. Doing the trusting spirit by Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah. Shalom to you too, right? And we are here to prophesy the downfall of the destructive kingdom. Now, the Babylon the Great. Sodom and Gomorrah, Egypt, Rome, all those and the empire of all of them in the one controlled by Esau, the so-called white men, the government of Esau, right? And uh, we are going to gather the elect by the word and power of the Yahweh Shemel Shah, right? And the nation of Israel consists of the different Latinos and Native Americans. Those are the true biblical Israelites according to the King of the Bible. And only the elect out of those who are going to come back Receive this word and repent and serve you. How about you know, shy and true sincerity? All right. So, you know, uh, this situation going on with uh, with the artist formerly known as Kanye, and you know, people were telling me about it, but I had, but I had looked at it. But today, I had a chance to listen. You know what I'm saying? This is when he was on the uh, on the podcast. I think it's called Drink Champagne. With uh, Dory Yeager, them, yeah, and Kanye was speaking about uh, how the gutter rats, you know what I'm saying, control everything, man. And he was speaking on that, but me personally, just listening to him, I believe he just hurt behind, uh, you know what I'm saying, his family being yeah. separated. You know what I'm saying, if he still had his family together and he was running with Kim and all that, he wouldn't even be. You know what I'm saying? Talking the way he's talking. That's me personally. That's just how I see it. That's, that's how I see it. You know what I'm saying? But he's speaking on them gutter rats, right? So we're going to start off in Job, uh, the 14th chapter in the 5th verse. Right? This is, uh, this is Job, chapter 14, verse 5. Right. Seeing his days are determined. Who days are determined? Who days are determined? That's key. Go ahead, bro. The number of his months are with thee. Thou has appointed his vows that he cannot pass. I want to deal with the word determined and bound. Right? So the he is a so-called white man. Right? The so-called white man can only go so far in this world with his conquering, with his technology with his rulership. He can only go so far. And the reason why things are coming out the way they're coming out and why artists are, are, are turning on me, Peter Weiss, saying what's going on in the industry, the movie industry, Hollywood, and this word is coming out, brother speaking the truth, breaking it down, telling the world that we Israel. The reason why it's coming out like that is because the so-called white man, who the world literally called white men, Caucasian, uh, European, the biblical Edomites, it's time for them to fall, man. That's why everything is happening the way it's happening, you know, and that's part of why, uh, you know, the most high got the spirit on some of them artists, like speaking on Kanye, uh, that's what you're saying concerning industry and how the gutter rat control everything and saying that he's a, saying that he's a Jew. Okay? But the apostles of GMS, the elders, been uh breaking it down for years how the gutter rat controlled everything. You see, the so-called uh so-called Jews, you know, we call them gutter rats. Quote uh Houston Mullins mentor Ezra Pound, okay? Ezra Pound, who was an Edomite, was calling them gutter rat. And well, I got that term gutter rat from is from the Apostle Elder GMS. And they got it from Ezra Pound. Okay? They gutter rat. But they biblical nationality is Esau Edomite. And they the tribe of the and they and the tribe of them, they are uh, Amalek. That's the head tribe of the Edomites. Like you got Judith the head tribe of the Israelites. You got the head tribe of uh, the Edomites, 
which are the, uh, which is the Amalekite, which is the Gutterat, so-called Jews. See? So we're bringing out the word determined. So, Strong's H2782. Not the chosen people that the Bible speaks of. The Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans are. And Esau Edom is a sinful man. He's born of a woman. We born of Yahweh watch now shot. See? And that's what it is. So when you read back up in verse 14, it says, uh, anybody that's born of a, a woman, uh, many days of trouble, so to speak. That's because of that sin. So Esau Edom is a sinful man. So he's not set up to rule forever. So he's going to be cut down and he's limited on his rule, man. Right? Okay? And what Kanye is doing, which, you know, he tried to say his name is Ye. But going back to the Hebrew, there's no E in the Hebrew. Okay? Really, really, it's really Yah. Okay? Which is he. That's what it is in the Hebrew, he. But uh Ye put the word E in them. You see? He says he spelled it Y E. It's really Y A. But in the Hebrew, that's what it is, Y A. But translating into the English, all he's saying is he. You see? But that's what he changed his name to. But he's talking about them gutter rats. Right? And he, the way he's talking, they uh, censored him concerning uh, his speech. Talking about he's uh, anti-Shemitic. Now, listen to the video and bringing out these scriptures. The real Israelites is supposed to rule forever, but the imposters is in the land of Jerusalem, right now, they're going to get cut down, right? Because they Edomite. They're not the biblical uh, Edomite. I mean, like, that was slip of the tongue. They're not the biblical Israelite. Okay? Now, what I want to do is go to uh, Genesis 9 and 18. Genesis 9 and 18. And when you go into the table of nations, right? Uh, we're gonna read Genesis 9 and 18 first. All right, this is uh, this is Genesis chapter nine, verse 18. And the sons of Noah that went forth of the ark were Shem, Ham, and Japheth. See, that's where they get that word Shem from. And the word Shem mean name. So what, th what they saying is, anti-Shem, meaning they come out of the line of Shem, 
So, and we come out of the line of Shem. So that what they saying is, when them, when them gutter rats say you are anti-Shemitic, they say you against Shem, the descendants of Shem. Okay, that's what they saying. But we are descendants of Shem. Because when you read with these gutter rats, which these, what these gutter rats did, they put, they put this Zandam and Compact Bible Dictionary together, right? Okay, they put this box, Zandam and Compact Bible Dictionary together, right? So read that for me again, bro. All right, this is Genesis chapter 9, verse 18. And the sons of Noah that went forth of, of the ark were Shem and Ham and Japheth. Okay, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Those are the descendants of Noah. Those are his sons. And in the Zandam and Compact Bible Dictionary, right? Find them. Ham. Real quick. Let me see. Now, in the Zandaman Compact Bible, y'all got to excuse me. I'm a little tired today because I've been up since 4 o'clock. I had to work today, so y'all got to excuse me if I'm moving slow. Too slow. I'm wore out right now. But y'all, grab with me. Uh, in, in the Zandaman Compact Bible Dictionary, right? On page 213, it says uh, ham, hot, the meaning of it, of his name. It says, the youngest son of Noah, born probably about 96 years before the flood, and one of the eight persons to live through the flood. He became the progenitor, meaning the push the gene for, of the dark race. So, he became the progenitor of the dark races. Now, what they don't tell you is everybody at that time dealing with Noah, Ham, Shem, and Japheth, everybody was dark-skinned, brown-skinned, so to speak, in the correct term. Everybody was brown-skinned, okay? Or different shades of brown at that time, okay? And I'm gonna read this again. It's on, it's on page 213 in the Zandam and Compact Bible Dictionary. It's Ham, hot. The youngest son of Noah, born probably about 96 years before the flood, and one of the eight persons to live through the flood. He became the progenitor of the dark race, not the Negro. All right, go straight. So read that again. All right, this is Genesis chapter 9, verse 18. And the sons of Noah that went forth of the ark were Shem, Ham, and Jeff. So, reading this Zan in the Compact Bible Dictionary, they know that we didn't come out of Ham. See, so-called Negroes in this country, which are the biblical Jews, okay? And Jew is short for Judah, okay? They know that we they come out of them African nations over there. They know we different from them. Now, the gutter rats put this Zandam and uh, Compact Bible Dictionary together. So they know, okay? But just because they know don't mean they gonna acknowledge us as Israelites. You see what I'm saying? It's a difference. Just like, I give you an example. When you go into the history, of uh, Antiochus Epiphanes in the Maccabees, and he was apologizing for what he did to the Jews, okay? And so-called repenting. But, and the Most High had hit him with a plague, okay? To where he was on his way to die. But before he was on his way to die, he said, uh, he was sorry for what he had did. But, see, how the most high work, he know your spirit. You can you can say something, but in your mind, you can be thinking something totally different. You see what I'm saying? Just because you said it don't mean you mean it. See, the most high know your thoughts. And same way with these Edomites. They can say that they know we Israelites. You know what I'm saying? 
but they don't really mean it. You see? They don't really mean it like that because they the devil. You see, that's why the Most High go do them the way he gonna do them because he know that they not sincere. They the devil. They'll never acknowledge us to the point to where they will feel sorry for what they have done to us as a people. They'll never be like that. But they know that we Israelites, but they'll never acknowledge us to the point to where, yeah, y'all the Israelites, and we feel sorry for what we have done to y'all as a people. They'll never be like that. The scriptures say they ain't gonna repent. You see? Even with Antiochus Epiphanes, the Heavenly Father and His Son knew that Antiochus Epiphanes wasn't sincere. They're the devil. They done had it. He created them. He know how they is. But they will, they will say certain things, right? And it's for us to search it out and bring it out to spiritually build you Negro Latinos and Native Americans up. So back to what I'm saying, they know that we ain't come from them Africans over there, which are the original Africans in the land of Africa. Those are uh, the nation of Ham, which I'm gonna read it. But you got some of our people still over there in Africa, okay? Because the, the, uh, tribe of Israel was scattered everywhere. So you still got some of our people over there, but the original people people of the land of Africa, which is which is the name of it is Ham, uh, those are the descendants of Ham, man. You see? But yeah, it's gone. I see that. Those are the descendants of Ham, them people, the, the original people, the indigenous people of Africa. Okay? Now, this is uh, continuing on. He became the progenitor of the dark races, not the Negroes, but the Egyptians, the Ethiopians, the Libyans, and the Canaanites. Now, the Egyptians are today the Watusi, the Zulus, and the Suanese down there in the Democratic of the uh, Congo, Republic of the Congo, okay? The Ethiopians, I mean the Ethiopians, which y'all know who they are, you know? All you gotta do is look, you know, Google Ethiopians, that ain't hard, you know what I'm saying? Those are the people, those are uh, Ethiopians, but their biblical nationality is a, uh, is a uh, Kush, Kushite. Now, the Libyans, those are the North African uh, uh, Hamites, okay? The Canaanites, those are the South Africans. Those are the Canaanites, okay? But the Negroes, who are they? Those are Jews, you see? So read what you got again in, uh, in, uh, Genesis. Yeah, in Genesis. All right, this is, uh, this is Genesis chapter nine, verse 18. And the sons of Noah that went forth of the ark were Shem and Ham and Japheth, mm -hmm. and Ham is the father of Canaan. See, Ham is the father of Canaan. See, so we come out of, it went from, when you read in Genesis the 10th chapter, it came from, it went from Shem, it went from a uh, uh, fox head, Peleg, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. So-called white men, them gutter rats, uh, Esau, Edom, it went from Shem, uh, a fox head, Peleg, uh, Abraham, Isaac, and Esau. So when Kanye West is saying that he is a Jew, he's right. And when he say uh, he can't be anti-Semitic, he's right. The thing is, them gutter rats got a wool pulled over the masses of the people's eyes to where they can't discern uh, the difference that they are the Edomite and Kanye. Ain't crazy when he 
say he can't be anti-Semitic because he's a Jew. You see, the mass of the people can't discern that. That's why we set up to tell y'all, okay? And that's the covering task over many people. Matter of fact, I'm gonna get that. The covering cast over many people. I see. 